All right, ladies, thanks a lot. Classic cars, trucks and guns all seized from the owner of a construction company in North Georgia. Now he's accused of making millions of bucks by employing undocumented workers and paying them below market wages. Here's the kicker, the big kicker here. Juan Antonio Perez is an undocumented immigrant himself. The indictment paints a picture of a really lavish lifestyle. Elwin Lopez shows us the rich life he was living. The indictment says Perez had three homes in North Georgia. The first one, the main compound, 7,500 square feet, where he lived with his wife and his kids in Bartow County. The second one, a quote unquote toy house. Take that as you will. And the third house is where he was allegedly renting out to his undocumented workers. Now, let's talk about his arsenal. The indictment charges 14 different weapons. If it's just merely for self protection, I'm not quite sure you need 14 weapons. Some may disagree, but either way, it is quite the collection. Five shotguns, a rifle, eight pistols, and if you want something that seems like it's straight out of a movie, he's got that too. And that's not all. He also had a massive collection of cars. From a mid-50s Bel Air, now that's a cool car, to oversized trucks and enough sports cars for a racetrack. They seize more than 50 cars and trucks. And to give you some perspective, that's enough to practically fill up this parking lot. Okay, and now those classic cars are with the feds. Now, Perez is going to be arraigned next Monday as far as uh, how Perez, as an undocumented immigrant, was able to get away with this for so long. But the feds say he got some serious help from people who are here legally.